lipstick top up. In fact, I'm just going to do a whole face top up. Okay, I probably look no different to how I did a second ago, but hello boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so incredibly well today. So before I start this video, you need a little bit of backstory. Don't worry, it's not long. Essentially, in Sheffield, we have two Primarchs. We've got the one that is in town, which is really easy for me to get to without a car because it's just one bus journey. And there is one in Meadow Hall. Meadow Hall is like a really, really big shopping center that we have. But to get there, I had to catch a bus and a tram. And I happened to be in Meadow Hall early this morning for a something, for something. And I stumbled into Primark. Now the Primark in Meadow Hall, it's just so much better. I can never seem to find anything I like in town, but yet on the rare occasion I go to Meadow Hall, I come out with one of these. So I did actually go into Primark yesterday because I needed a pair of shoes for this thing that I was at this morning and I ended up picking up three pairs of shoes. Um, but three pairs of shoes isn't like haul worthy, but adding on the things I bought today from Primark, which don't get me wrong, isn't masses. This isn't like a full on blown haul. It's kind of like a mini haul, but I reckon I've racked up enough to show you. Without further ado, let's go. I'm gonna start off with the shoes. Now I'm not gonna tell you which of these pair of shoes I bought for the specific thing that I was at this morning. God, I'm being so ambiguous. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not like me to be mysterious. We'll start off with these. Now, Please don't be offended if this applies to you. I hate kitten heels. I have never ever liked a pair of kitten heels in my life. So sorry, it's just not my cup of tea. Your cup of tea might not be Perspex heels. Somebody else might love Perspex heels. Kitten heels are just not my cup of tea, but I am quite tall. I am five foot 10 and a bit and I love wearing heels but there does come the odd occasion where I just feel like this humongous bumbling giant amongst all my small petite friends so I thought I would invest in a pair of little heels thought I'd join the bandwagon because everyone's getting them for some reason and I'm not gonna lie, I do really like these. I think they're like two inches. I don't have any like cream or white heels either. So they've just got this gorgeous like squared off toe and they're just this really cute strappy kitten heel. So yes, this was purchase number one and these were 12 pounds. Purchase number two. Oh my gosh, you can actually tell that I've been wearing these because they've got scuffs on them already. Oh, okay, there's no hiding it. Okay, second pair is these. So I don't have any like black loafers. Are they called loafers or are they called? I think they're called loafers. They've got like a gold rim all the way like lining the sole. And then it's just got kind of like three little chains and then some cute little tassels. I just think they were really sweet. However, oh my gosh, I have got blisters galore and I've been wearing them for about four hours. They definitely need some wearing in. And these were, I don't know where the price is. Um, I believe they were either eight or 10 pounds. Don't hold me to that. These were my third purchase, my third shoe purchase. On occasions where everyone would wear, you know, jeans and heels or some really like casual heeled boots or something, I just don't want to tower above everyone. I, I embrace my height and I love it. 
but sometimes it is just nice to be able to look people in the eye. <laughs> this is just because I wanted a nice flat shoe. It's just that it's this kind of espadrille. Am I saying that right? I don't know how I was meant to say it. We'll go with that. Espadrille soled shoe. It's quite a thick, chunky shoe, so it's not very easy to bend. So you do have kind of have to walk like a penguin. Um, but they look pretty, so that's fine. And you just tie this a few times around the ankle. And I think it is that that just makes it so just a little bit classier. I don't know what it is. It's just this really pretty kind of creamy camel colour. And yeah, I just thought that would go perfectly in my kind of spring summer wardrobe. So actually, I need to show you something before I show you that. So if you have watched any of my um, like vlogs and I've done an outfit of the day, most likely I will have been carrying my camera around in this big kind of like bucket sized bag because it is the only bag that I have that's big enough to fit in my camera, which is very large. But, um, it's kind of sort of falling apart. And by kind of sort of, I mean it is on its last legs really. And I do believe that was from Primark as well and it has lasted me years. So those people who say that Primark ain't good quality, that's been a loyal bag for a good long time now. But I did think it was time to purchase a new one. So I did want black because black goes with everything. I'd have preferred white, but then again, white would get just so dirty so quickly. So I got this, it's got some gorgeous gold chain detailing. It's got like a little pop-up button. Um, and it's got a zip so you can keep all your belongings safe. It's got kind of like this crisscross, crisscross detailing on it. And it just fits on your shoulder. The straps are a really good length to just pop on your shoulder. Yeah. So now I've got a new bag to fit my camera in. We'll go on to jewellery. So last time I went to Primark, so yesterday, I picked up a pack of rings. I have already lost one. Went in yesterday and I've already lost one. So yeah, that just kind of sums me up in a nutshell. So I bought a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings. That's such a random number. Maybe I've lost more than one. They are just really, really beautiful. They're just, this one has like a kind of a black jewel on it. This one has a pearl on it. I wish I could show you like, I wish I hadn't thrown away the little package, packaging. I also picked up some gold jewellery. So these two necklaces. So this is obviously just kind of like a gold chain. And then this kind of has like a little snake on it, which I just thought was really, really cute. Um, and they were three pounds. Um, I also bought some just clear lip gloss which was £1.50. I do believe that finally I picked up this. So this is like a summer dress. I do believe it's actually supposed to go over bikinis and things like on your way to the beach or on your way to the pool kind of thing. So it's just this really flowy, floaty dress that just has, it doesn't have a lot of shape to it, it just kind of falls over you. And then you can tie the straps here where you're comfortable. It's very kind of low plunge, and then it does the same at the back, which is really gorgeous. It's got a V, v back as well. I've got these gorgeous leopard print ankle boots that I really, really like, and I've been envisioning this kind of spring, more summer outfit but I haven't been able to find the right dress until the Primark in Meadowhall. I just think this is just really gonna be really gorgeously, you know, just kind of throw it on and still look put together. Summer, carefree, denim jacket, leopard print boots. I just think that's a look just absolutely adorable. I actually got it in an extra small because I just kind of held it up against myself and I was like, 
I don't want it to be too long. And I did try this on, like I'm generally a size like 10 to 12 and the extra small fit me. So I went with it. That just goes to show how unreliable Primark sizing are. And that is all I got from Primark. I will actually show you. So I got, okay, I got some Millie's cookies. I had a 30 pound voucher for my birthday for Victoria's Secret and I keep forgetting to bring it to Meadow Hall. We don't have a Victoria's Secret in town, just Meadow Hall. But this time I remembered. So I bought the perfume, a uh, Victoria Bombshell Seduction, which is so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then also you get a free full-sized moisturizer which is very much needed because my hands are so dry considering the situation that the world is in. Not gonna mention it because I'm sick of hearing about it. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon for another video.